So, folks, I am losing my load here. We're back in Mon Bazul because, uh, yeah, I really, really, really need to sell some stuff today because I need money because we're going to squat the truck. And also, I'm going to do other things. Uh, we're not just going to make the truck hideous. Which, by the way, I know a lot of people are going to be like, Komodo, why are you doing it? Why are you squatting the truck? Well, I just want to see what it looks like and how ridiculous it is. And then we're going to do some uh, other upgrades here in the future. By the way, there's Leo, as cute as ever. Hello, Leo. But yeah, I've been meaning to get rid of these rusty parts for a long time. So I'm hoping we make a good bit of change. I've got enough to get the uh, the road, or actually not the road, my driveway paved and get a little parking area. In the future, we're going to have to get busy again. I need to start grinding away, especially at the sugar shack, because I could be producing and making a whole lot more money than I am right now. And uh, I need to get that moving, and I need to get some other stuff moving. That way, we can afford to actually pave the whole road, because it's like $100,000. It's insanely expensive, but it's realistic. I mean, come on. Uh, asphalt's not cheap. So I also think there's a new suspension set that we're gonna buy here relatively soon. It's like a heavy-duty one. I feel like that would be really good for off-roading. Uh, we've got the 12-inch lift on here, which it's just a ridiculous lift. It doesn't handle great, by the way. All right, we're almost to the junkyard. By the way, you guys can hit the thumbs up button if you guys want to see more Mombuzzle. And comment down below. Give me more ideas for builds. Uh, I know a lot of people want to see a slammed truck, which that's another thing I don't like in real life. I think slammed trucks look ridiculous, but, I mean, if you guys want to see it, Komodo will build it and make it look terrible. All right, here we are at the junkyard. Time to unload all of the uh, rusty parts in the back, and we are going to see if we can make some money here. Uh, guess down below. Wait, there's something already in there. Can I not sell all the parts? Uh, what do you guys think? How much am I going to make here? Yeah, let's pop this bad boy down here. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff back here. Okay, just, oh, try to chunk it all in here. That part's a little awkward to fit in there. Can I stick the old engine in there? Uh, this thing's been sitting in my garage for a while. Uh, we're going to eventually uh, build the, uh, I guess we'll call it the original manufacturer BMW here really soon. Uh, so I need to go pick up that engine, but it's $3,000 in... Yeah, I've got more important things to uh, buy right now. By the way, I don't know how this differential got in here. This is a unique part. I think I need to actually keep this. Uh, is it going to let me sell the engine? Here we go. Boom. All right, $780. Uh, oh, it actually took the engine. Yeah, I want to keep the uh, the differential here. I feel like since it's a unique part, we should probably, uh, probably keep that. Actually, is the differential this open one? Is this like the standard uh, manufacturer one? Or can we de-rust it now? I'm not really sure. Uh, we need to head to the store. Okay, are we ready to... I think they call it tooting the truck? That's another word for it. That's an odd word, by the way. All right, um, I feel like it's also necessary to go ahead and buy the old... Uh, the silver dues here oh my goodness those look terrible okay let's go over where's that other suspension at wasn't there like a heavy duty somewhere so these heavy duty shocks would this be for off-roading or for hauling uh, somebody can let me know down in the comment section below not worried about it right now we need the biggest drop is eight inch is that the biggest drop is there not a 12 inch drop uh there doesn't appear to be one uh oh these are kind of expensive uh well i guess 220 is not that bad so yeah what we're gonna do we just need two of these so we're gonna stick these these leaf springs in the back, which should squat it uh, below stock and leave the 12s in the front. Like that, I think is actually gonna work. It's gonna look hideous and I probably should spend my money on something else. Yeah, that's the thing. Also, is there anything else we wanna buy that's ridiculous? I mean, we should totally buy, you know, let's get a paintable wheel. I actually kinda like this. Also, I forgot to stop by my brother's house. Apparently there's something over there. I saw a YouTube comment going, hey, you gotta stop by the house. Also, we need another paint. Uh, Komodo likes to paint his uh, vehicles a million different colors. And if it's squatted, it's got to look terrible. You know, I think I saw a uh, squatted truck on, I think it was Whistling Diesel's videos. Um, this color looks fairly similar to it. So you know what? We might as well do that. Oh, also, we can paint those rims if we wanted to. Do you got to, I guess I can make my own over here. I want to get a black real quick. So let's go boom. All right, so we got two of those. Oh, man, I look forward to all the people complaining about this build. Uh, do you keep in mind this is probably going to be very, very, very temporary. <laughs> oh, this is the bro's house. Um, there better be something back here. We're just going to park up on the road. Okay, let's see what we got. Leo, you can stay in the car. Uh, I think the dog's a little angry at me right now. Uh, it's like it wants more food. We've, we've got food at the house. It's fine. So do I need to talk to you? Francis, what's up? I uh, can't wait for the summer to come. Each weekend I'll go camping for sure. Wait, is that going to be like an expansion? Uh, for some reason, I don't think I've ever seen that voice line. Also, I would like to have his truck. Uh, that's pretty cool. What are these? Yo, can I buy these? Wait, 
I can just have these? Yo, I saw this in one of the update previews. I was wondering where this was gonna be. Okay, this ta- Oh, you know what? This explains a lot here. Several episodes ago, I was questioning why there was holes in the bed. Dude, you could totally put these on. Uh, that's kind of cool. That's not gonna stay in there because it's not bolted in. Yeah, that'll really help for, I guess, probably uh, big wood shipments or anything else you want to stuff back there. Heck, we could have probably used those when we were taking all the rusty parts. So we know these are gonna immediately fall off. Are they gonna fall out or how's this? Yep, they immediately fell off. All right, we should probably just, you know, don't put it in. It's kind of hard to stuff these in here because it wants to set them in and attach them. Okay, just, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having problems with physics here. Oh, let's just put the... Oh, that doesn't even help me, does it? Okay, nope, stop trying to put it in there. Uh, Komodo is having technical difficulties right now. Okay, we're just gonna take our time. We're gonna slowly cruise home and hope these things stay on there. Uh, I might not put them on here yet because obviously I'm gonna have a squatted truck. I don't think I'm like hauling anything in the back. I think there's a couple more parts in the world that we haven't found still, uh, so we'll keep looking out for those. I just gotta slowly cruise home here. All right, we have made it home. Um, this is the thing. Let's just throw these over here. Uh, eventually, I'm gonna do a cleaning episode and clean up everything. Uh, here, Leo, you can come out. There you go, boy. On, oh, give him some love. Uh, for some reason, you don't think I love you enough. Uh, hold on, you got enough food? Yes, we have enough food. Actually, let's go ahead and top that off. There we go. See how much I love you? I filled up both of these. This is still a mess in here. I'm gonna go buy some more storage and we're gonna actually uh, stack up and maybe along this wall, we'll put a bunch of our like new parts and then we'll kind of move these around too. All right, let's just get the truck. We're gonna back it up because I only need to work on the rear section and uh, we're gonna squat this bad boy. Moto's so lazy that I didn't even pull all the way into the garage. All right, let's go ahead and get these un uh, done here and then what we're gonna do we're just gonna take the uh, the leaf springs off I should probably put the jack stands uh, Over here. Jeez <laughs> Every time I look at my garage. I cringe a little bit. Okay. Let's pull the leaf spring out. I can get it out. Can I? Uh Oh Why can I not pull this thing? Do I have another bolt? Uh, I don't have to take off the rotor. Do I I shouldn't have to um yeah, this thing's not wanting to come out. Did I miss a bolt? That's a good question. Uh, what did Komodo do wrong here? That's out, that's out. There's not a back bolt on these. Um, okay, do I have to take it off? Maybe I have to take it all off. All right, let's go ahead and take that off there. All right, can we pull it? Uh, let's pull the spacer and the rotor. A few minutes later. Okay, folks, I believe I've broken something. Uh, my vehicle is smoking right now, and I'm not able to take off the leaf springs. Is this the way the game is just telling me, Komodo, you don't need to do this. Hold on, let me move the car real quick. Something's wrong. Okay, so I got a bit of an idea. These leaf springs will not come off. I don't know if it's because I'm not all the way in the garage, but if we crank up the truck, normally uh, stuff likes to pop off if it's not bolted down. So I'm hoping the whole rear end just pops off. <laughs> this is not a great way to do this. Okay, would you look at that? The leaf springs fell off. I can't believe that works. <laughs> okay, so we finally got them off. It just took a little bit of uh, finagling here. And yeah, this is about what it's going to look like when it's squatted. Yep, that just took a little bit of ingenuity, didn't it? Wait, can I put the new ones on? Yes, I can. All right, let's get the old ones over here. The good ones. <laughs> let's move these. That's funny that that works. Okay, so let's go. Boom. I might want to get the jack stands back under here. All right, so that's good there. I feel like we're about to break something. Uh, put that under there. Okay, so the build is back on once again. I have figured out my issue. Oh my goodness, that didn't go down at all. That is so dropped. Okay, uh, let's get the pieces back on. Oh, so where's Leo? Leo, I got dog treats. Do dog treats. Oh, there you are, buddy. Look. Look at this stuff. See? More friendship. You can have... Oh. I guess I can only give him one treat at a time. Uh, those were randomly in the garage. Um, okay. Uh, let's bolt this stuff back together. Okay, let's put the tires on. Look how in the, uh, the wheel well this is. Like, this is why when you see a lot of the squatted trucks, uh, they've pounded the wheel well out with, like, a hammer because their wheels no longer fit in there. Like, I feel like for realism's sake, we should be able to do that. Uh, let's bolt these tires back on. We're gonna wait for the morning to go take this thing out for a drive. And uh, also, I need to call the pavers. Uh, I want them to come work on this. You know, I might get the motivation once we have an actual, like, paved parking lot in here to clean up the shop. 
Uh, that really needs to be a thing. Also, we gotta put on uh, another specialty item. Okay, where are they? Oh, here we go. These just should go on like right under here, right? Uh, that's where we normally hang these, which uh, I've never done this before. Oh, there it goes. I need to bolt them bad boys in or... All right, you know what? We still have our paintable wheel. All right, we're ready to paint this bad boy. Hold on, spray it. Uh, it's gonna be quite ugly, but you know what? I'm here for it. Yeah, it's hideous. There we go. I do wish the hood was separate. Like, I would like to paint the hood a different color, but that is not a thing. The grill, uh, you can paint separately, but the hood, you cannot. I don't mind this blue. Like, the more I look at it, the blue don't look that bad. Uh, okay, what about the rim? So, oh, can you only uh, do the little lock? Oh, I don't know if I actually want to paint that. I kind of like the red. Well, uh, close that there. Uh, on, here we go. Boom. Take it down. It is totally squatted. Wow. Also, I think the uh, parking brake might not be on. It's awful. Okay, it's the next day. Let's call this number 555-76. Uh, oh my goodness, I hung it up. Okay, this is fine. Komodo has problems with this phone for some reason. Okay, it's gonna be seven, six, two, three. Oh my, it, you know what? This is fine. Okay, two, three. All right, finally. <laughs> that took a little bit. Okay. Come on, give me the charges here. So, yeah, we can pave the home parking lot. That's what I want to do. Okay, we need to press three. Uh, receive the payment and it's done. We're the fastest. Wait, I don't. Oh my goodness. What? Yo! Dude, that looks so good. Oh my goodness. Like, that looks so much better. It actually gave you a little bit of extra driveway, it seems like. Uh, I like that a whole lot. Like, this is so nice. Also, that is like the first thing in this game they have not made you wait for. Like, everything else is like, wait, you know, a week, two weeks. Like, that was really efficient. But yeah, now, like I said, we need to get our criminal, I mean, not criminal, parsley. We need to get our parsley business back going again. And then we need to also get our sugar shack back up and start making some more maple syrup. We got a lot of things we can do here. But first, we have a squatted truck. You know, at this point, I'm not sure Leo would even want to ride with us. Do you want to ride, Leo? Go ahead, hop in there. It's a little easier for you to hop into it now. I think my truck uh, dangly dudes are dragging back there. So guys, pay attention to this. This is what we see out the front. This is why this is illegal in certain states. I can't see what's directly in front of me. I see about, I would say it's 30 feet ahead of me, but I don't see 10 feet ahead of me. So if there's like a child or something, we might actually run him over. All right, let's do this. Oh my goodness. This is, oh, this is awful. <laughs> it's just so terrible looking. Yeah, it's just sad because this is something people like to do. I mean, you know, everybody get, likes to do their own thing and I guess I shouldn't shame people that much, but this just isn't me. I couldn't do this. Plus, I do find this one actually dangerous. And if you watch some of the videos where people go and inspect these trucks, uh, the way they do this, a lot of times it's not the safest. Uh, <laughs> It's not professionally done. It's done in somebody's uh, little garage and yeah, it's not great. Doesn't honestly handle any different. Uh, you can still kind of throw it sideways. I am a little disappointed and Mr. Santa Goat, uh, that's the creator. We really need some uh, physics on those truck dangly dudes back there. I feel like they should be swaying in the wind. But yeah, other than that, I mean, <laughs> it's a build. It's something you guys wanted to see. Oh my goodness. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna die from anxiety. So yeah, definitely we'll probably do the heavy duty springs once I uh, figure out exactly what those do. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below, but yep, this is it. This is the squatted truck. We've done it. 